Hello everybody. Right. What am I going to do? <laughs> Other than a 3D flower pour. Um, yes. I already mixed my resin and, and as many of you already know, it's the Art Pro from Resin Pro, but um, hang on. Let me just get my gloves on and then I'm showing you the bottle. It's a very good resin. Um, I'm not sure if every one of you knows Petra Jungblatt. She does very, very awesome cake stands. And she's using the Art Pro a lot. And basically, via her, I came to this company. Hang on. This is the Art Pro from Resin Pro. I already um, wait, I let sit my resin around about 40 minutes till now. I filled my uh, molds with approximately 65 grams of resin each. I already filled my cups with 30 grams of resin each. And I've already pre-mixed my center because these are the um, little pearls. Hang on, let me just show you those beads. And as you can maybe see, they're just jumping around. They are very electric. Um, statical. I hope this is the right word. So that's the reason I already um, put black, dark brown and gold in here. So I let it rest for the moment. Let me just get my um, little stick so I can get rid of the uh, bubbles, the air bubbles. I killed my other one um, yesterday. God knows what I've done with this. So let me just go around here. I hope you don't mind that I already prepare a few things in advance, but I found that my videos are getting too, too long when I'm not doing this. And I really don't want to, um, to bore you to death. <laughs> And also, um, sounds funny, but but I'm really much faster when I just can do it in my own speed, etc., etc. So I hope you know what I'm talking about. I think there's a cat hair in there. No? Do I get it? There's always something. Almost. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, it's a problem when you have cats, huh? There's cat hair all over. Actually, they are not my cats. When I came here, they were already living here. So I guess I'm the new one and I have to adapt. <laughs> yeah, there's some bubbles catch, catched in the corner and I hope I can get them all out. It's not always easy. Let me just get my air gun. My big yellow boy, how I always say. I catch them all. Just wipe this off. And I think there's something still in there. This was a bubble. Hmm. Big boy has not torched it. Yeah, my colors are the sunflower colors, but I received um, yesterday 
from Amor Art. This it's called um, Sun Yellow and it's a really deep yellow. And I would like to take this for, for my yellow, <laughs> for the sunflower. It might have more intensity, uh, intensity, intens you know, might have more effect. Sorry for my English. <laughs> so I put um, six drops of it in my eye. Four, five, six into my resin. Then I will be putting three drops of the um, golden yellow alcohol ink. And first I'm going to stir it. It's a nice color. Hmm? Look. It's really orange yellow. I like it. I'm doubting of putting um, some extra mica powder in there, but I think, shall I do it? I'm, I think I better leave it. I test another time. <laughs> um, the mica powder I've just shown you is the um, powder from Petra Youngblood, and it's Awesome. Um, those two colors, Tequila Sunrise and Tropica, Tropicana, they're just awesome colors. Love them. So, now I will be putting from um, this sun yellow again four drops. One, two, three. And then two drops from the normal orange. This normal orange, um, let me open the bottle, um, has no, as far as I know, no um, white in there. This one has white in there, but not the orange. So, one, two. I hope I get a, a more deeper orange um, shade now. And this is the Pinata um, Tangerine. I put three drops in there. One, two, three. Wait, this was almost four. Three and a half. And I hope I can see a difference between those colors. You know, my, my recent one, and I say really thank you for all the people who, are watch, or who watched or are still watching this video. Um, I think my colors were a little bit too pale, but I still, I, I just love them. But look at those two colors, aren't they beautiful? Yeah. The resin is still a little bit thin, it's now 48 minutes since I stopped stirring, but let me do my center now. I hope I mixed up enough. It's also still quite thin. Let me see. I like the effect of um, the pearls. I didn't, I hoped for something like this, but I, I really didn't expect it really to happen because I'm, I'm imagine very often things and then these things aren't happening. I guess it's the same like with many of you guys. This time I did not put as much pearls in here, so I hope that it loosens up also a little bit, that it's not like a big blob of birds. Mm. 
this again a hair. There's always something in the resin. Do you have the same? I just wonder. Sometimes, you know, I wish, you know, there was someone with me doing the same and we could like on the spot exchange each other with ideas and telling each other hey that's what you're doing is not good that won't work or yes this is certainly working well i guess we are all just by ourselves aren't we <laughs> So on Sunday, I will be going on holiday for a couple of days, Sunday to Thursday. On Thursday, we are back. I'm really looking forward to it. We will be going to northern Germany, right up to the north. And um, yeah, I like the north of Germany very much. My boyfriend, he's more for the south, for the mountains. He's a mountain biker, uh, yeah, a mountain biker with his race bike. Um, please also bear with me today because I have different piping bags. My ordered bags did not arrive yet. So I went to a, a shop called Action today and I bought um, some piping bags, but those are yeah, they are together, um, you have to sip them off and then they have a little, um, I don't know how you say this, where they are glued and this is not easy. So I try to get along the side to, to make it as smooth as possible because it's very, very um, difficult to pipe with this edge aside. I tried this once before and I didn't find the one-way piping bags on eBay and it just was impossible. Anyway, let me put the yellow in here. Nice, nice color. I really hope it turns out good. Actually, with Armor Art, um, with this brand, I um, yeah, I had chats with Julie about this and, and you know she helped me finding out which colors include um, a sort of white so you don't need to extra add white and which not. So I really say a big thank you to Julie, Julie Katz who helped me with this. Yeah, I hope I can twist them. They are much thicker, <laughs> but I wanted piping bags and not these um, Ziploc bags. Yeah, see, I, I cut this a little bit, but this is the edge. I mean, I try to be, be as close as possible here. Put this in here for a while. Do the next one. I really hope um, these are working out even better than the first one, the previous one. I think sunflowers always gives you a nice feeling. The colors are awesome. Yellowish, orange and, and yeah, it's just awesome. up. Really, really hoping for the same effect. Oh, yeah, this is tight. I also want to um, get back into the thing of making uh, a butterfly, but so far I have not had my the guts to do it again. I did it once with leftovers. It was not very nice, even though some people liked them. But um, yeah, you want to make it really that that it's really also looking like a proper butterfly. Um, there's my bag here. 
Oh, I can cut this already. Some air, I guess, down there. It's not good. Okay. See how I can cut this. It's a lot different than what I'm used to. Go for it, Petra. It's too thin. This is far too thin. Make the hole a little bit bigger. Yeah, this is better. And now the yellow one. But actually, I like those thinner piping bags a lot more. You have a lot more control. I already feel this now. Stupid me. Maybe just a tiny inch bit bigger. I need to clean my scissor in a bit. So I try to get this thing, this gap above, so it's not bothering me. Now I'm going in big circles and overlap them and overlap them. This I do till I'm back. It might look a little bit weird for you, but it worked. I was surprised myself. And when you never try anything, you never know. And I'm, believe me, not the most risky person. I love the color. Wow, I hope, I hope, I hope. Important is that you let your, um, set your resin for quite a while. That you are not starting to pipe um, when the resin is too thin. It does not make sense. I have experience with this now, even though I'm not doing resin for quite a long time. But you know, when it not turns out good and you mix up so much resin and it's actually expensive, then it's really disappointing. So that's my yellow dye. I go and Circles again. This is kind of yeah. I go in circles again, but in smaller circles. And again, also need to torch this because there are bubbles, but this will be soft with the heat gun, I guess, in a bit. And again, I just go in circles, overlap, again, and again. Little bit smaller than the white, uh, than the yellow ones. Really hoping for a nice effect again. And then I guess I do the same like I did yesterday. I put those little petals very tight around. I thought this gave it 
also a nice effect. Just around. Don't bother too much about the middle part because um, this is covered by um, yeah by those birds. Yeah. I'm surprised how good I'm getting along with those piping bags. I like the other ones more, but it's all right for me. You need to improvise sometimes. So, okay, let me just get my hands a little bit cleaned before I get my yellow boy. Also, let me clean this mold. These molds are actually not expensive ones. I had them for a while. I like I like um, the shape, but I wished I would find a company who would do similar in this shape. So you have all the coasters also in the same shape. Maybe modes and shapes. <laughs> and now I'm provoking that of me. Yeah, there were in the center a lot of air bubbles, but they are gone. So now I'm gonna push. And pushing. I have really no idea what will happen now because this time I have no white mixed by myself at all because the yellow is meant to have white in there. I'm really curious. Maybe one more round, but not more. Just briefly. Let me just quickly um, close a little bit up because I see this is not closed up. And let me close up this with a little bit more resin. Yeah. Let me just blow it again. But now it's hot. I have to tell myself off. Okay, okay. Taking you down for a close up. And we will see what happens. Um, well, I guess I lost you. Never mind. I'm back here. So I think it's closing up. There's some big gaps, which I hope will be closed. Also, I did exactly the same like I did yesterday. And really, fingers crossed. Didn't torch too much. 
normally I touch a lot more so yeah see you tomorrow bye bye for now hey guys welcome back yeah I forgot to say that I'm gonna show you um, how it's looking after around about 15 minutes I have to um, admit I put also those orange petals afterwards on there they're not yet really um, blooming because we are not meant to say puffing up anymore <laughs> but I had first a lot of resin left of the orange and I saw many gaps and I thought what will happen if I just do it I only gave it a little torch again and yeah I'm really, really curious how it's going to be tomorrow. Okay, I'll often leave you here and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello again, guys, and good morning. We have now um, 20 past 8 in the morning here in Belgium. And I hope you guys are all okay. I wonder how my new attempt of the sunflowers um, worked out um yeah actually i used a little bit different um, colors without white pigment except from the orange and yeah i really wonder but let's get me starting with the first one Well, at the front side, you don't actually see a lot, so it's really challenging to see what happened in the back. So, get the first one out. And turn it over. It's much more pale than my first attempt. I'm not sure which one I like more. I really need to say this. Um, maybe, um, even though the company said there is white in the yellow pigment paste, maybe um, I really have to add some white or even more of the yellow. I like the colors though, the colors are brilliant, but it's very, um, yeah, see-through, as you can see. Well, let me put it there, get the next one out. Really have to see what I'm gonna do with this. I show you, in once I demolded everything, I will show you the other ones I did um, two days ago. So that's the front side and the back side. It's really more wispy. I mean, they're still beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I really like them and I, I really like the center bit. But for me, they could be a little bit more opaque. So this is what I have to consider when I do them again, just to um, use either more of the yellow pigment paste or to add really some white. Didn't expect this to be honest. So again, but I like the, the orange um, and um, the darker yellow. It's, it's the darker um, yellow for sure. And let's get the last one. I mean, it's a very nice um, coaster for lying on the table and it, it, it has a very nice effect. Actually, I, I want to, uh, I have this 25 centimeter diameter mold and I want to make a big sunflower. But first I have to see that I get the color right. Look at these. And here, 
put this down. Yeah, here I'm I'm not so round, but for the rest, the colors are brilliant. But like I said, for my taste, they could be a little bit more opaque. But they are still pretty. Let me just take you down for a close up. And later I will be placing them on a darker background. Sorry that I have to turn you. <laughs> still wearing my gloves. Yeah, it's them. So, I wonder what you think though. And let me pause you for a while. And I come back with the one I um, had yesterday. Just hang on a second again so this is one of the ones I did yesterday and this is the one I demolded yesterday so can you see the difference I think this one this includes white and both um, colors um, this is more opaque. I like the brightness of this one, but I like that it's more opaque on that one. But I wonder what you think, guys, and I'm looking forward to your comments. Okay, I love and leave you, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.